Welcome, FNS57 here. Once again, I'm back on my Xbox Series X to bring you another guide. For today's video, we'll be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, specifically a XP trick explanation for the new trick or glitch, whatever you want to call it, that was found in Warzone 2.0. Uh, this pretty much only gives you profile XP. Under very rare circumstances, it gives you some weapon XP. It can be done in solos, duos, quads, trios. It doesn't matter. Um, this video is to explain how it works and the fact that it does work after the hot fix. So if you're in need of profile XP for some reason, you could do this if you wanted, but in the spirit of full disclosure... I really don't recommend it. It's fairly time consuming and it, there's just better ways to get XP, let's be honest. Uh, I mean, I'm almost maxed level and that's just from actually playing the game. So what we're gonna need to do is get into a Warzone lobby. That can take quite a while just to get into a lobby and I'll briefly explain it before we get in because honestly, it's really, really frustrating. Um, obviously, if you have a team, it'll be easier to do this. If you're good at Warzone, it'll be easier to do this. I do not have a team, and I'm not that great at Warzone, so I just have incredibly bad RNG, especially while trying to record, which makes it very frustrating. So I do hope that a guide helps you out, and if it does, consider leaving a like on it. Please and thank you. All right, now that that's all done, so what we need to do is we need to actually get into the Warzone match and we need to find kind of an out of the way place on the outskirts of the map. Ideally you want an area with a lot of buildings but you also want um, it to be more of a residential area. So I'm going to go for like this little outcropping here and hope that there's not too many players there. Most players aren't really too worried about this because it only gives profile XP, but a lot of people still are doing it or they're just being jack wagons and specifically hunting down players that are doing it, knowing that there'll be easy kills. Again, another reason to just stay away from it, but well, the life of a content creator, right? So anyways, what we want to do is we just want to stay alive, find a semi lower threat area and we need to pick up as many stims as possible. So most players are gonna go for the safe cracker contracts or some of the really hot loot areas and that we just wanna stay away from that. There's, there's no reason for recording purposes. Uh, there's gonna be a guy that just landed there at the gas station, so he already had the same idea that I did, which honestly kinda sucks because we need to get these stims. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for stims, and we honestly need to stay alive until the gas gets here. Now, there is a vehicle, so I might be able to use that to my advantage. And you're gonna look for first aid cabinets or medical cabinets. You can find them literally in every single residential area. Uh, you can also find them in gas stations, these little medical tents. Uh, or like medical army tents, these little office buildings. You can pretty much find them everywhere, including there's basically in nine out of every 10 bathrooms, you will find either a first aid cabinet or the medical mirror. You can also find them at gas stations. And sometimes there's even two boxes at gas stations, one in the gas station, one in the restroom area. And on top of that, you can find them in abandoned uh, like ambulances or medical vehicles. So you'll notice I'm going to try to stay alive. I have two stims on me, two stims in my inventory, and basically the gas starts closing in. Every ring collapse that you survive and then use the stim in the gas will give you increased XP. There's also supposed to be a double XP event active for profile XP for all of December 1st and 2nd, 2022, but for some reason I have not been able to actually access that on the Xbox. I am doing this without double XP tokens, but if you wanted, you could do this with double XP tokens and earn even more XP. So the biggest thing is just to stay alive. A lot of players aren't gonna take stims 
because in this game mode, stims are kind of useless. Uh, the damage and the TTK or time to kill is turned up so high that you're pretty much not going to have the time to really rely on stims to save your bacon. And as far as keeping you alive in the gas, well, they're just not. The gas does so much damage, it's not even funny. So we have to wait for the ring collapse. And I really wanted to show you what uh, I was talking about, but I know a player landed here at the gas station, so I am really risking it right now. Uh, I believe you get about 500 XP for each stim that you use on ring one. So this is one of the police vehicles, or I said police, sorry. Uh, ambulance is <laughs> what I meant. But uh, that ambulance always has, or like nine out of, no, that's a claymore. Told you there was a player there. Uh, but that ambulance, usually every abandoned ambulance that you'll find has one of those little crates in it. Also, usually every bathroom that you go into has one of those crates or the medical cabinet in it. So once you have everything, you just have to wait for the gas. Yep, I called it. There was a player in there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hide and I'm going to wait for the gas and then show you how much XP you get. Unfortunately, this gas station, the mirror's broken on. But here's the first aid box. It appears that player left the area, thankfully, after he left a trap claymore for me. Now, if we are to go into some of those actual buildings, we could find some of the medical cabinets. But to be honest, we're probably not going to make it in there. So it'll take several minutes, and you'll have a good amount of time to loot stuff. But that's also what makes this a little bit bad is because it takes so long to get the stims. You'll probably spend 10 minutes looting stims only to get killed by another player. And at that point, what good did that actually do? Because there's far better ways to earn XP. So I'm going to chill in this room in the bathroom. Just to show you, this is what the medicine cabinet looks like, and it usually has two stims in here. At this point, you simply just want to wait for the gas, try to survive as long as possible. I wanted to showcase what ring number five looks like. I was able to do it one time when I was testing and not recording, and ring number five gave me like 2,000 XP for the single use of a stim, which was honestly pretty crazy. But since then, I haven't been able to duplicate the results. I've never been able to make it to Ring 5 while recording. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to show what Ring 1, maybe if I can make it that long, Ring 2 looks like. So once the circle gets close, you're going to need to get ready to move. And there's a lot of people that camp the circle now. So just use the stim, and you'll notice that since we took damage and we're using the stims, in this radiation cloud for every stim i pop i'm gaining 500 xp but i am taking a lot of health damage i'm taking health damage extremely quickly in addition to that the stim is not like completely replacing my health bar and i'm taking armor damage so this is uh basically something that you're you're kind of guaranteed that if you don't have a lot of stims or are really close, you're going to kind of die doing that. But as you've seen, I got 500 XP per stim on the very first ring. And then I believe on the second ring, it jumps up to 750. Uh, then like 1,000 by ring 3. Ring 4 is like 1,250. And I think at ring 5, it jumps up just a ridiculous amount uh, but like I said, I only made it there one time while not recording. So once you make it out of ring number one, if you want, you're going to need to loot some more stims. Um, you'll probably need more armor plates, maybe ammo if you got into a fight with a player. And then you're just going to kind of want to keep doing this for as long as you can survive. Getting as many stims as possible so that you can get as much profile XP as possible. Sometimes players will get 
weapon XP from this, but as a general rule, you should not rely on this for weapon XP. So here is the ring two. There's another player trying to kill me, which makes this way more annoying than it should be. But you'll notice we are gaining 600 per stim that I use now. Not sure why the last time when I tested this I actually gained more, but uh, you'll probably get gunned down by another player before you get to use all of your stims. So that's what you do. And this guy was literally just waiting for me. Um, honestly, it is what it is. If it's the first time you go down, you can go to the gulag. You can try to get some more stims if you're successful in redeploying and do it all over again. Um, but that's a you know catch 22. Anyways, I'll show you the XP screen at the end just so that you can see. So I survived a little bit longer. Just wanted to show you this next level with the gas. Now I've got a thousand XP per. I've got a player trying to kill me. And of course he was successful. And that's more than likely what's gonna happen to you is you're just gonna get you know hit by multiple teams and you're just gonna get killed. But at least you can see, I think that was like circle number three or circle number four a thousand xp per stim without a double xp event and without any double xp tokens earned uh, you get quite a ridiculous amount of xp in total uh, but again this is just profile xp so i really don't see the point i mean it was even more XP, but the hotfix, I think, reduced it by, like, 100 per zone. And you get almost no weapon XP at all for just using the stims. So there's really not much of a point to it, in my opinion. But I really do hope that my frustration in recording the guide at least helped you understand. And maybe if you need some profile XP, you might want to do it, if you like Warzone. If you're like me and you don't like it, then you probably will not be using this. Anyways, till next time, my brothers and sisters of the Legion, stay frosty.